push to ban a synthetic drug is gaining some momentum in Texas. The city of Colleen started issuing warnings today for businesses to stop selling a drug that you may never have heard of. It's called K2. Well, a week from tomorrow, city council members from the city of Cedar Park, they're going to vote on banning this drug called K2. Now, it, this is also named fake weed or spice. The effects from smoking K2, we're told, range from panic attacks, elevated blood pressure, anxiety, numbness and tingling, vomiting, so severe that it might require sedation. Hallucinations can also be intense, also tremors and seizures. Those effects can last anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours. Doesn't sound like a lot of fun, but Fox 7's Camille Williams joining us live from Central and downtown Austin with the details. Camille. That's right, Mike. Now, if you go to any head shop here in Austin, you will likely find this stuff. There are some health concerns. Texas Poison Control Centers say since January, they've received more than 200 calls about exposure to K2. On YouTube, we found dozens of videos of teens smoking this legal drug and talking about their experience. I'm going to be telling you about K2. Really good. It's sold as an incense, but everybody knows that you smoke it. Now I'm starting to feel like a little tingly in the eyes. I just sound we do it spicy all day. Yeah, it's legal buzz, 100% legal. If you're on probation, if you need a job, you can't piss straight. Um, any professional thing, you know, you can't smoke weed if you drive buses, tow trucks, this is for you. It's similar to the ingredient in marijuana. Now, several cities in Texas have a ban against the legal drug. Some of those include cities like Dallas, Plano, Longview, Colleen, College Station, and Bryan. Cedar Park could soon be added to the list. Under the ordinance, you face a fine of up to $2,000 if you are caught. Cedar Park will vote on September 23rd on whether to ban K2. Joining me now is Lori DeLong with the Phoenix House, and she helps teens kick the habit. Now, why do you think these teens would even be interested in doing something like this with all the effects that K2 has? Teens don't realize the danger in the effects. If something appears to be legal, they have a false sense of security that it's safe to use. All right, and they say that basically if you smoke this K2, you could pass a, uh, a test without any problem, where if you were to have other drugs, you, the test would show that you clearly were doing these illegal drugs. How do they, if they have a similar ingredient to marijuana, how does it pass the test? Well, uh, it doesn't show up in regular drug screens that um, a lot of programs use, but it does show up in uh, results that are sent to the lab. So it is detectable, and many probation departments and treatment facilities are now starting to use alternative testing options for this chemical. The concern is, is that teens and young adults and even adults are going to be attracted to use something if they can use it and get away with it. And our concern is is that parents and teens and um, school administrators will continue to feel that um, it's not that serious of an issue. Um, we often get calls from parents who feel like they would rather their kids use this and not get into any legal trouble instead of s smoking marijuana. Um, they think the risk is less and certainly the legal risk they feel is lessened. Well, do you feel that here in Austin that this drug should remain legal or should it be banned? I think it should be banned. Um, we need to be able to protect our teens. Um, our children need to know that we're going to stand up and help protect them, that um, we don't expect them to have to make those decisions on their own. Very good. Thank you so much, Lori. Mike, back to you. All right, Camille, thank you very much for that. There is a unique effort on tonight to help... Re